Dear student, I welcome you in the aviation learning process. Today we are going to learn one of the most important aspects of aviation learning. If you know about this prospect, you need to say that you are, I would say that you are one of the best technician or the best engineer in the aviation field. Because we are now talking about one of the most sophisticated and most important feature of aviation that is the welding. If you know about the different techniques of welding, it means that you you are capable to maintain, you are capable to create, and you are capable to manufacture different aircrafts. And uh, so we are going to give you a more brief aspect about the welding. So let's start. Students, our sequence of learning would be like this, that first of all we would have the desired learning object, we are having some acronyms related to the welding, we would, I would tell you about these things and I would give you a, a brief introduction related to the welding, then I would explain something and at the end we would have the conclusion, quiz and some of the questions from you, from your side. If you are having any kind of questions, Please put this question into the comment box so I will be happy to answer your question and I must I, I shall try my best to give you a good and relevant answer to your questions so let's start dear students after after this lesson you people would be able to understand the concept of welding you would be able to know the purpose of welding and you would be able to have the knowledge about the different procedures of welding and at the end you would be able to uh, learn the qualities of good welding that how what is a good welding and what is a bad welding so let's start dear students we are having different types of the welding and uh, these types of the weldings are being like this that uh, you are having a shielded metal arc welding that is called as SMAW, shielded metal arc welding. This is one of the type of the welding. And the second is the gas metal arc welding. Gas metal arc welding. That is GMAW. Then we are having the gas tungsten arc welding. GTAW. We are having the plasma arc welding. PAW. At the end, we are having the tungsten inert gas welding that is TIG so I must say that we are having the modern technology we are having the five types of the welding that is shielded mark uh, shielded metal arc welding gas metal arc welding gas tungsten arc welding plasma arc welding and the tungsten inert welding dear students the welding is a process that joins metal by melting or hammering the work pieces until they are united together means to say we can see that the welding is a process by f by which we fuse the two metals into one another welding is in historically can be traced back to the bronze ages but it was not until the 19th century that welding as we know today was invented some of the first successful commercially manufactured aircraft were constructed from welded steel tube frames Your student as the technology evolved in the aerospace industry lighter metals like aluminium magnesium and titanium were used in their construction new processes and methods of welding these metals were developed so I would I must say that if you are if you are having the a uh, you are you are having all of these metals available into the modern aircraft that is aluminium magnesium and titanium so I must say that the a technician must have a good knowledge about all types of the weldings. You, we, I can say that the uh, welding techniques used for the titanium would be totally different from the mag uh, from the welding techniques used for the magnesium because one is the soft metal and the other is the very hard and tough metal. So, so, so it's important for us that you mu we must have a good knowledge about all types of the welding. Dear students. When we differentiate the welding into different types, the general types of weldings are like this. 
we can say that the gas welding electric arc welding and the electric resistance weldings are the three general types related to the welding each type of welding has several variations some of which are used in the construction of aircraft and some are can be utilized for the maintenance of the aircraft as well additionally there are some new welding processes that have been developed in recent years so let's start about the gas welding dear students the gas welding is accomplished by heating the ends are edges of metal parts to a molten state with a high temperature flame here we can say that we are having a gas cylinder and that these gas cylinders are pressurized gas cylinders and these gas cylinders provide the gas in, in the form of a torch and when the form of in the, they, they are being produced in the form of a torch what types of two gases are being mixed one gas is the oxygen hose hose which is having the black blue or black bottle as the black or blue cylinder and the second one is the acetylene hose that is red we can say that the two hoses and the two types of the cylinders are available and the appropriate mixture of the oxygen uh, oxygen with the acetylene hose would provide a sufficient kind of the uh, sufficient kind of the spark and the flame and this flame is having the great intensity of heat so this intensity of the heat can be utilized for melting the different types of the different types of the metals so the oxygen acetylene flame with a temperature of approximately 6300 uh, 6300 Fahrenheit is produced with a torch burning acetylene and mixing it with pure oxygen now gas welding is being utilized where the hydrogen may be used in place of acetylene for aluminium welding but the heat output is reduced to about 4000 4, Fahrenheit nearly all gas welding in aircraft fabrication is performed with oxyacetylene welding equipment now talking about the second type of the welding that is the electric arc welding the electric arc welding is used extensively by the aircraft industry in both the manufacture and the repair of aircraft gentlemen this, this is a type of the this is the type of the welding which is not only being utilized in the aircraft industry but it is being utilized into the different other industries as well like automobile industries and different manufacturing industries it can be used as if used satisfactorily to join all weld weldable metals provided that the proper process and the materials are used the four types of electric arc weldings are shielded metal arc welding, gas metal arc welding, gas tungsten arc welding, and tungsten inner gas welding. These are the four types which can be which can be uh, which can be uh, mentioned under the banner of the electric arc welding. So, this is a time that the sheet metal arc welding is happening like this that, that there is a there is a sold solidified slag is available and uh, upon which we this is a base metal and this is available uh we are, we are having a sheet is available and the penetration depth is available for us so by utilizing the electric coating and the, by utilizing the core wire we welding atmosphere is available and arc pool is available where we have to provide the arc and by utilizing that arc we can we can fuse the two metals these two metals are being core wire and the electric electrode coating is being fused and at the end we would have a good we would have a good joint of metals this is the gas metal arc welding in the gas metal arc welding you, you can see that the wire electrode is welding and the shielding gas is available inside the inside the core and when we utilized it we could have a sufficient kind of the arc which is being utilized for the welding as well now the gas tungsten arc welding is also available in the gas in the in this in this we have why we call it the gas tungsten arc welding because the tungsten electrode is utilized instead of the some of the other electrodes now in this manner the shielding gas 
and the arc would be introduced here and the filler wire is being utilized this is the filler wire which is being utilized to to be fused with the base metal if this filler wire would be melted and will be fused with the base metal so it would create a kind of a joint here we can see that the molten weld metal is available and this molten form is could, could be called as the fused metal so this is a this is a kind of a welding welding in, in which the electrode is being utilized as a tungsten tungsten is a kind of a metal which is being utilized as a core so that's why we call it the gas tungsten arc welding and the third is the electric resistance welding this is electric resistance welding can be explained that the force is being utilized and the electrode is electrodes are available and these electrodes are being utilized by utilizing the current source and when the current source is available and the force is available from the upper side and the lower side so by utilizing this an arc would be available and this resistance would create a joint between the two metals electric resistance welding is typically used to join thin sheets metal components during the manufacturing process there are two types of electric resistance welding spot welding and seam welding when we need to have a seam between the two um, two thin metal sheets then at that time and at that time we would utilize this electric resistance welding spot welding is being a type of the uh, one of the top one of one of the type of the uh, sheet welding so in this work holding clamp is available this clamp is available the clamp stop is available for us and the power trigger is available which we, which we would which would provide a kind of the uh, electric power would be available for us for uh, for this joints and this is the welding tip and we would put the some uh, the metal sheet inside this welding tongue so when the metal sheet would be available here that so the welding tip would create a um, would available and uh, would provide an electric arc so that the metal sheet thin metal sheet would be joint with the second main thin metal sheet this is a seam type welding and this a seam is being created in between the two sheets plasma arc welding it was developed in 1964 as a method of bringing better control to the arc welding process so this is the plasma arc welding provides an advanced level of control and accuracy using automated equipment to produce high quality welds in miniature and precision applications this is main arc is available for us and when main arc would be available then the plasma gas would be available then this plasma gas is the would be so so that the workpiece would be under the under the force under the under the joint created by the plasma so that this pilot arc and this is main arc this pilot arc and this main arc is responsible for creating a plasma through the these through these parts and shielding gas is available and this shielding gas would be created through the plasma gas this was another another example of the electric uh, plasma arc welding now let's start talking about the characteristics of a good weld the seam should be smooth the bead ripples evenly spaced and of a uniform thickness the weld should be built up slightly convex thus providing extra thickness at the joint the weld should taper off smoothly into the base metal no oxide should be formed on the base metals close to the weld. The weld should show no signs of blowholes, porosity, or projecting globules. The base metals should show no signs of burns, pits, cracks, or distortion. So I must say that the characteristic of a good weld is like this: that it should, the fineness should be available on the on the workpiece and we can say that the fineness should be available to us in the in a greater manner so with this thank you very much i hope that you would like this today's lecture upon the about the uh, about the welding and it would be helpful for you in learning about this this all was about the module 7 of the module 7 of the aircraft maintenance uh, learning process 
So I hope you liked it. If you are having any kind of query related to our today's topic, please put that query into the comment box. I would be very happy to answer you answer your query and I shall try my best and if you are having a good suggestion related to for improvement of our uh, for improvement of our uh, YouTube channel related to the aviation maintenance please give us suggestion that would be that would be beneficial for us and beneficial for our learners